डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला एंड ई कॉन्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर द नैशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू आई सी टी आम प्रोफेसर सेवा सिंह फॉर्मर हैड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस गुरु नानक देव यूनिवर्सिटी अमृतसर today we will discuss about module on college library this forms part of the paper on academic library system academic library is central to academic activities academic library is attached to academic institutions to support the classroom teaching academic libraries include school college and university libraries various committees and commissions have emphasized the importance of academic library in the educational setup from time to time if we look at uh, the college library setup then college is an institution of higher education and its library is established to uh, serve the students faculty and other staff to support the teaching programs of the college to provide reading material for independent study and research to encourage lifelong learning among uh, students to support the objectives mission and vision of the college the functions of college library include to assist the parent institution in fulfilling its educational objectives to provide latest collection of textbooks journals and other documents to maintain good collection of reference books magazines newspapers journals etc to provide career guidance to students and make them a useful citizen to offer variety of services such as bibliographic services access to databases and so on to create helping reading environment for students and faculty to preserve documents for future use to meet the educational objectives some of the functions which are suggested for college library include making available to students books and allied reading material relevant to their courses making available books and other documents required by faculty members providing supplementary books and reading material to help study and teaching at college providing comprehensive selection of authoritative books and documents needed by faculty to pursue research programs promoting proper use of reading material available in the stock training the students in making use of library properly and deliver full advantage out of it another way of looking at functions of college library is to acquire and provide text and standard reference books to students to train students in the use of library material to help and assist faculty members in keeping them abreast of current knowledge to assist the faculty in the pursuit of higher studies and research and support them with relevant literature and information college library <coughs> may develop a comprehensive and well rounded collection of uh, textbooks reference books journals magazines newspapers and other reading material 
to fulfill the educational needs of students and faculty. It may add uh, more documents helpful to students for career-oriented competitive examinations. Books for recreation, personality development, fiction, biographies, history, travels, and so on. It may develop new formats of information resources including multimedia sources, CD-ROMs, e-books, etc., which are considered significant for study and learning. Collection should be well maintained in the library so as to keep it usable for present as well as future. Some of the activities form part of maintenance include stock verification and stock rectification from time to time. It will help to keep the stock in order. Weeding of material. All those material which are considered not in use or unusable or worn out should be weeded out. Binding. Binding of uh, documents, books and journals, etc. from time to time should be taken care of. Binding of uh, wearing out documents and some other documents, old documents should also be taken care of. Preservation and conservation of old as well as useful, valuable, helpful documents must be taken care of so that the collection in the library is properly maintained. College library may have great collection, but its usefulness will increase only if it is well organized and made available to the user community. A well-trained, competent and sufficient staff is needed to serve the purpose. Staff will exploit the resources to the maximum to provide documents, information to students and teachers. So the importance of human resources in the library goes without underlining. As per the UGC norms, qualification for college librarian may be 1. Master's degree in library and information science or an equivalent degree with uh, at least 55% marks or its equivalent grade and a consistently good academic record. 2. The candidate must qualify the national level test conducted by UGC or any other agency approved by the UGC. 3. Candidates may have working knowledge of computerization of college library. Some formulae and norms have been suggested from time to time for uh, staffing pattern in college libraries. Ranganathan long back suggested a staff formula for each section of the library calculating staff strength on the basis of some assumptions. UGC Library Committee recommended norms for staff strength. UGC workshop held at Khandala recommended staff strength on the basis of student strength and document collection. UGC Review Committee recommended staff for small and large colleges linking staff to book funds. Financial resources play vital role in the organization and administration of a college library. It should be assured sufficient funds to provide the requisite services. It is recommended to have 
6.5% to 10% of education budget as library finance. Some of the sources of finance for college library include grants from the UGC from time to time, grants from the state government, library fee collected from students, library service charges and miscellaneous charges levied by the college library from time to time. UGC Library Committee recommended long back library grant may be at the rate of rupees 15 per student and rupees 200 per teacher. This was when documents etc. used to be not very costly. Kothari Commission of 1964-1966 revised it to rupees 25 per student and rupees 300 per teacher. But this is also not deemed sufficient in the present times. In percentile terms, it made a specific recommendation for 6.5% to 10% of education budget. This seems to be a bit sufficient because the library budget will be directly linked with the education budget. However, library grants from state governments are not sufficient for the purchase of books and other reading material. The overall college library development therefore is hindered to great extent. Hence, there arises a need for recommending fresh standards of library finance for college library in view of the other technological, social and economic development whereby now we talk of computerization of college libraries, we talk of having adequate staff in the library and library must have an independent building and library, college library must have adequate collection to serve the user needs. The new standards should take into consideration all these aspects and then revise the standards and it should be mandatory for the college library managements to follow those standards. Library building and its design help to protect information resources against loss of increased service life. UGC gave grants to construct new library buildings with functional design. Bureau of Indian Standards, formerly known as ISI, prepared a code of practice for design of new library buildings. A college library needs various items of furniture and equipments in its library building. These include book racks, catalog cabinets, reading room tables and chairs, circulation counter, display racks, newspaper stands, tables and chairs for technical and other staff, computer and printer tables, etc., telephone, fax machines, etc., photocopying machine, fumigation chamber, fire extinguisher, and so on. Bureau of Indian Standards prepared a code of practice for design of new library buildings. IS-1553-1963 to Code of Practice relating to primary elements in the design of library building. Another is IS-1172-1957 to Code of Basic Requirements for Water Supply, Drainage and Sanitation. IS-2-1949 Rules for Rounding of Numerical Values. All these uh, standards, they lay down the standards for basic elements only. BIS developed standards and specifications for various items of furniture built of wood and steel. It is published as IS 
1829 part 1 1961 standards mentioned above are uh, outdated now and need to be updated it is suggested that appointment of a library expert committee should be made to examine the existing standards and propose the new ones so that the proper furniture and equipments for the college library could be made available library and information services which uh, reflect the image of college library and status of librarian obviously it depends to a large extent on the variety of services which are offered by college library these include book lending service readers advisory services reference service career guidance service library orientation and user education display of new books bibliographic services network based services and online public access catalog etc in the present times large college libraries are computerizing their own databases to meet the objectives and mission of college the library must improve its services application of computer and library activities to process store retrieve and disseminate information in changing the traditional concept of library and information services working group on libraries of national knowledge commission recommended to promote ict application in libraries nac of ugc has also helped significantly to improve college library services concept of uh, resource sharing is now catching fancy in college libraries as well some national library networks are already working these are helping to provide document delivery and these networks include infolibnet ugc infonet delnet at uh, national level at regional level also such networks as calibnet bonet etc are helping libraries continuing education programs are being organized for college libraries at national level the academic staff colleges provide refresher courses to college librarians to keep pace with the recent developments in librarianship and ict college libraries are undergoing significant changes to improve their services librarians are also changing their attitudes to provide better library services to meet the information needs of academic community if continuing education programs are regularly provided to college librarians obviously they will update their knowledge to improve the existing library services initiate new services and new information products for their user community and serve them better in the 21st century with this uh, <clears throat> description about college library dear students we can summarize this module by saying that college library is regarded as the backbone of college education it plays important role in the lives of young students who could have access to large collection of reading material the module describes various sources of finance for purchase of books recruiting manpower purchase of furniture items and equipments etc it mentions about the standards 
for this purpose. Discusses various library and information services provided in the college library. States the impact of IT on college library services and participation in resource sharing and networking programs for better document delivery services. With adequate infrastructure made available, librarian will be able to provide efficient and effective library and information services to support education objectives of the college and meet with the mission and vision of college as institution of education. Thank you very much.